Hey Curl Hey, I'm Lorenz and you might know me as Ringlet Reina. I am a Dallas Curl Specialist, Licensed Professional, and a Makeup Artist as well. And I am here to tell you a couple of red flags that I would absolutely not allow if I was going to go see a new If you're watching this, it's most likely because you are a curly yourself and you are looking for a curly stylist in your area and I 100% understand where you are coming from because before I was licensed, I was out here struggling for years trying to figure out what worked best for me and my hair and it took me a while, but these are a couple of my tips on trying to find the best curly stylist for you. So before you even book the appointment, before you even get in the chair and pay someone money to cut your hair or potentially do something that you didn't really love to it, you want to make sure that you get the proof in the pudding. You want proof of purchase. You want to look at Google reviews. You want to look at their Instagram feed. You want to see if there is anything out there online that maybe says something not so nice about that stylist that maybe they won't listen to you or give you the cut that you're really looking for you want to find that proof in the purchase. Why? Because if there are other really happy clients out there just like you, then they're going to scream it from the rooftops that they have found the curly stylist, like their one, basically soulmate, you know what I'm saying? If you don't see your texture, I'm gonna need you to run in the total opposite direction. If they've got a lot of good reviews and you love all of their Instagram photos, if you see your texture on their Instagram or on their website, you should feel confident going to them specifically because they feel comfortable with your texture. If you have any questions, I do highly rec recommend that you just talk to the stylist yourself. So then that way you can kind of figure out if they are comfortable, if they've recently taken education for your, for your texture or the type of cut you're looking for, and you can go from there. For myself as a curly stylist, I personally love offering consultations. They're complimentary for either cuts or color, but that makes it a lot easier for someone new to come to me and be able to ask all the questions that they're wanting to get answered about me, my techniques, and how I like to cut and style hair or color hair before we ever get started on a service. I provide all clients with a in-service consultation as well so we can get to the nitty gritty of what they're needing to learn from me as well as what cut and style their goal is. But the reason I say that is because if they don't listen to you, like the stylist isn't listening to you, your concerns, your questions, or just any emotions or thoughts you might have about your hair, then I would probably recommend not getting that service from that stylist. Reason being is because the consultation is the most important part of being a curly stylist and you want to make sure as the stylist that you're listening to the client so that y'all are on the same page get that curl consent, and then you can go on in and do the cut, the color, or the style, and everyone is happy. The more in tune that your stylist is with you, I promise that the happier you're gonna be with your service. You gotta make sure that when you're investing for your curly hair, that you're going to someone who's going to listen to you about products, any recommendations, any concerns you might have, whether it's hair loss or hair breakage if you get a lot of color. All these things are super important, so make sure that they listen to you. Okay, so this kind of leads me into the next red flag. This is during the appointment stuff. So if you've already done the first two steps, fabulous. Here's the next one. During your appointment, run if they don't ask you any questions. Every single person communicates differently and everybody is looking either for a different style, different look, a different color, cut, whatever the case may be. As a stylist, it is my job, it is our job to make sure that we are communicating what we can achieve for our client as clearly as possible. You might not be able to receive that exact inspiration photo because your texture might not be the same. You might not have the same hair color. You might not have the same density. You might not have the same porosity. There are so many different variables, especially since Pinterest has so many pictures that are either wigs or photoshopped. So you want to make sure that you guys are on the same page of what is achievable. This next one, I'm, I'm like 50-50. The red flag is cutting on wet hair, wet or straight hair. 
The reason why I'm 50-50 is because you can, as a curl specialist and someone who is trained to see what curls can do, you know when it's possible to cut on wet hair, when it's possible to cut on straight hair, what textures allow for that. The reason why I say go find a curl specialist is because a curl specialist will consider your natural curl texture, they will have specific prerequisites before you come into the appointment to make sure that they can really um, get to know you, get to know your pattern, your texture, your desired results, and they will figure out what cut and what techniques work best for you. You as a client are paying a curl specialist who is trained in all things curls to figure out one, what works best for them as a artist and a stylist, and two, what works best for you as a client wanting specific results. So if you see no curls on their Instagram, on their website, no one that has your texture, I don't recommend you getting a wet or straight cut from that particular person. And my final red flag is the car salesman product pitch. I get it. I get it. Y'all, I'm a curly. Of course I'm a product junkie. I absolutely love my products and I spend a lot of money on them. But here's the thing. No one likes being shoved down their throats with things that they should buy or they're being told they absolutely need. For me, as a stylist, I make sure that I'm speaking to my client and if they sound like they are absolutely married to their products and they love the formulations they currently use and the brands they use, fabulous. As long as they know how to take care of their hair in conjunction with their drugstore products or their salon care products um, and they really know why they're using the things they're using. For me, whenever I have a client who comes in and says, hey, I'm not really ready to change products, but if you can teach me how to use mine, I would love that then yes, that is my job as a curl specialist. I am here to educate you to make sure that you feel confident achieving an at-home salon quality style out on yourself. Yes, salon quality products will make that even better for you and even easier for you, but if you don't have the current budget to make that investment, that is okay. As a stylist, I'm here to tell you if you know, you work best with creams, or if you should be a gel girly, or if you should go light and breezy and stick with sprays and foams. It really depends on you. But if you are ever uncomfortable at any point during your service um, that a stylist is just pushing product down your throat, let them know as kindly as possible. And you can always be like, I'm not interested in purchasing products today. All right, that's it for my red flags when finding a curly stylist. Remember to keep all these things in your mind when you're looking for your next curl specialist. And you can always look online to see if there's a curl specialist or curly salon near you. Some of my favorite places that you can find a curl specialist are Instagram, uh, typing in your current location, the city, and either type in uh, curly hair, curl specialist, or curly stylist. You can also do the same thing on Yelp. Google. So if there is a stylist that you're looking for that you are hoping to be a good fit with, pay attention, do your research, and make sure that none of these red flags pop up whenever you are getting a service. All right, good luck curlies. Let me know if you like this video. If you did, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you are interested in any other specific type of content, let a girly know. Um, I'm always down to try new things and I'm just excited to be on this YouTube journey with y'all. I will see you next time.